Alright, so finally we've got find the number of solutions for the following. So we've got 8 is equal to 3x squared minus 2x, b is 2x squared plus 7 is equal to 3x, and c, x squared is equal to negative 4x plus 4. Now what we need to do in this case is we need to make sure that each one of these is equal to 0. So let's go through and do that. So we get 0 is equal to 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 when I subtract the 8 from both sides. So now what we can do is we can go through and use the discriminant formula to be able to figure out how many solutions there are. So let's go through and figure out our a, b and c values first of all. So we've got our a value is 3, our b value is negative 2 and our c value is negative 8. 3, negative 2 and negative 8. Alright, let's write out the equation for the discriminant now. So you get triangle is equal to b squared subtract 4ac, or well, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. And then we get b squared is negative 2 squared subtract 4 times a is 3 times c is negative 8. This takes us to negative 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12 times negative 8 is not negative 96, so you get minus negative 96, which of course 4 minus negative 96 is equal to 100, because the two negatives become a plus. So we get positive 100, so the discriminant is equal to positive 100. Now because it's a positive number or a positive value for the discriminant, what we're going to end up getting is something that has two solutions. Because you can see up here, if the discriminant is above zero, that is positive, you get two solutions. So our graph will go through the x-axis twice. Okay, so now it's time to press pause and attempt the last two questions. Remember, like always, when you're done, press play and check your solutions against mine. Okay, so welcome back once again, and what we've got is we've got here 2x squared plus 7 is equal to 3x. Now the very first step is to make one side equal to 0, so that's minus 3x from both sides now. And you can see here you get 2x squared minus 3x plus 7 is equal to 0, because these will cancel out here. Now let's go through and label our a, b and c values. So we've got our a, our b and our c. So our a is 2, our b is negative 3, and our c is of course 7. So here what we need to do is we write out the discriminant formula, that is b squared minus 4ac, and our b was negative 3, our a was 2, as you can see over here, and our c is 7. So negative 3 squared becomes 9, 4 times 2 is 8, times 7 is 56, so you get 9 minus 56 is negative 47. Now because our discriminant is a negative value, we look up here at our little key that we've got, and when our discriminant is negative, that is our discriminant is less than zero, we have no solution. So our graph will look something like that where it actually doesn't go through the x-axis at all. Now for part C, we've got x squared is equal to negative 4x plus 4. So the very first thing we need to do is rearrange everything so we can get the x squared on its own. So you get zero is equal to negative x squared minus 4x plus 4 when we subtract the x squared off both sides. Alright, leaving us with zero on this side. So now what we need to do is we go through and label our a, b, and c values once again. So you get our a value, our b value, and our c value. a being negative 1, b being negative 4, and c being positive 4. So b squared is equal to negative 4 squared, minus 4 times a being negative 1, and c being 4. Negative 4 squared is 16, and 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, times 4 is negative 16. So you get 16 minus negative 16, which of course when these come together they become a plus, getting us positive 32. Therefore the discriminant is a positive number, it doesn't matter how big it is, all we care about is if it's positive, negative or zero. So because it's positive, what we do is we come up here, if it's discriminant is positive, that is above zero, you get two solutions. So what we're going to get is a graph that looks something like this. Right, and because it's a negative, it's going to go something like this, where it goes through the x-axis twice. But as you can see, it's going the opposite direction. Alright guys, thank you very much for tuning in to today's lesson, which was all about how to use the discriminant. Now make sure you stay tuned for the very next lesson, because you're going to learn all about how to apply this skill when sketching the graphs of quadratic functions. Now it was a very short lesson today, so what I've actually gone through and done is create a little song that will help you remember how to use the discriminant and what we use it for. So let's check that out. Is this thing on? What? How many solutions you want to see? Quadratic functions, well it could be 0, 1 or 2, but it's never 3 b squared minus 4ac uh.
know what, I'm gonna roll up, swagging my stance, not caring cause I know How to find my ex in sending this test while I'm a show I put my spin on it, I know no other way I'll make a song of it, I get this is what you say So after this song, the equation, yeah well it will linger So get a pen in your hands, yeah and use your fingers To write it down for another day So in this quadratics test, you can get an A This graph, don't touch the x-axis This occurs if no solutions exist The discriminant, yeah well it's negative And we be rocking it, like my mate this Swiss Then you got the graph that hit the axis in the middle With a discriminant that is really little In fact, what you need to know Is that this occurs when the discriminant is exactly zero How many solutions you want to see? Quadratic functions, well it could be Zero, one, or two, but it's never three B squared minus 4AC uh, Now time for the last possibility Yeah, this is when you discriminate Well, it's a positive And when you sketch, this is a thing that you will see It's a graph with two intercepts along the x-axis Now that we all know that the discriminant Well, it's gonna show just how many solutions there are Such as two if it's above zero And one if it's right on yo And none if it's below How many solutions you want to see? Quadratic functions, well it could be Zero, one, or two, but it's never three B squared minus four AC How many solutions you want to see? Quadratic functions, well it could be Zero, one, or two, but it's never three B squared minus 4AC